I'm going to block the pawn off and simply develop the knight supporting the pawn. I'm going to support the pawn because the bishop's going to take, so we can take the pawn, bishop with the pawn. Now we're going to develop the knight attacking the pawn, which has got no protection. And we want to go on castle, so we're going to bring the bishop out and king safety. All simple stuff. Now they're looking to go for the lockdown type situation in the center of the board. We can bring our bishop just here. So now there's not going to be much activity going on. We'll have to wait for the opponent to actually attack in the center if they're going to do that. I'm going to bring this rook because it's now simply attacking a piece that's unprotected. So at this moment in time, the opening process has been done successfully, fairly happy and comfortable with that. What we want to do now is consider bringing the queen off of the back. Now the bishop has gone greedy munching for a free pawn. So it'll go back to whence it came. We're going to develop our rook on this half open file. Well, it's not even half open. I'm actually going to bring this rook doubling now, seeing as we've got that process in place. The knight is attacking a piece that's easily defended, so we don't need to worry about that at all. So we could just touch onto the knight just to say, well, what are you doing? There's one of two things we can do. We can take with the pawn doubling again, making more space, or just simply capturing with the queen. So we'll keep it simple and capture with the queen. There's no longer a knight here um, supporting or attacking this pawn. So at some point we may be able to win the center. But he does have one, two, three pieces there at the moment. We have one, two, three. But two of his pieces are lesser pieces. So would we win out in that exchange? Let's give it a try. trying to keep it simple now they're thinking do they win out because we have a lesser piece then maybe the knight can attack so they're not actually going for that which is okay for us but what they have done is fought their own pieces now so simply pushing the pawn up onto the bishop and the knight we win a minor piece unless of course they go for something extreme and it looks like the opponent has left the game so that's the whistle stop tour of the beginner level in chess. Nice, simple development of pieces. Looking to own key files. Taking control of the center. And managing your own tempo and timing. And this game, we're going to take a whistle stop tour of the intermediary level. So here, we'll go for a little bit of a deeper calculation, but not too deep. We're not going to go crazy with it. And we're just going to bring the pawn through here. We could take the pawn, but we'll take here nice and steady. And we're going to just develop the bishop as we did in the beginner stage. Nice and simple. Going for castling. Get ready to castle. So the knight obviously wants to either come out here or to come here. Probably feels better coming here because it has potential to attack the queen and also attack this pawn here. So we're going to attack the higher piece, which probably is going to come back to protect this pawn, which it does. So we could now attack the bishop here, nice and steady away. Keeping everything nice and simple, even intermediate through to the advanced, just keeping it all simple. So capture nice and steady. So in, in the intermediary level, you're probably now looking at a little bit of calculation, a further calculation. The one twos that we did in the beginner, now we want to maybe look at maybe one, two, three, if there's any benefits towards going towards the king area. As you can see, we can see this spot here, the bishop putting a check on the king. So we'll do that just to disturb the king area first. It's no guarantees of anything. You can lose games in intermediate level, beginner level, advanced level, but it's just a different kind of thinking. So the king's coming to the open, so the queen could come to attack it. 
what can come and defend, the knight will block. Our knight can take, pawn can take, or the queen can take, but it is opening up space around the king. I think we'll go with that nice and steady away. So the knight does come and block. Knight simply going to take. At the end of the day, it's all still simple maneuvers, but it's a further calculation that is being dealt. So we're going to take. This pawn's got the protection of the rook at the moment. Our bishop is on there. Our bishop likes to attack this bishop. If the bishop does take, then our rook for a moment will be on the pawn. But I think the king will defend. We could push this pawn just to stop the knight from jumping here, which is a bit crucial. So I think we're potentially going to do that first before entertaining any thoughts of this. All right, so the knight's moved. And it's not going to come here or here. We could still attack the bishop because this pawn loosely defended by the king, I suppose. So the bishop takes, yep. So now the rook's on here, but the king's going to come here and this rook will then come and support. So it gives us time to double the rooks up on that file. Just get this rook here and then he'll double as well. But the bishop is kind of jamming that little square in, so it's not going to be too much doubling. All right, so bring this rook here. If they forget themselves and bring that there, don't forget we have the stealth bishop here. So it's probably thinking, can the knight support it somehow? And it can do, because it can go here. Right. Calculation. What do we have? Bishop could come back around, come this way. But that's allowing them to do this. Could push, could push some more pawns further up, just stopping them from getting activated. Options and choices, options and choices. Which one shall we go for? I think the bishop's okay there. Does the rook go up just to um, block the pawn off a little bit more? Does it go here to put a check on the king? I think potential for putting a check on the king probably feels a little bit better. We call that the rook rover, don't we? All right, let's put the check on anyway and see what how the land lies. Goes here or here. Bishop can put a check on the king, so it could be a draw. Let's put the check on. Is he going here or is he going there? So he is going there, so we're moving to the other side of the board with the bishop. Does he go here? So he is going there. And do we bring the rook up? Is that too much? To then try and get this up here. Looks like it might be too much. Could go here, just go for the draw. Something's telling me. Let's go here and see if we get another. It might be too much. Might be too much. Ah, it is too much. Let's take this palm. Got support of this other rook, or do we take with the palm? I think elevating the rook is going to work because we've got two on here. At least this rook is supported, so the king's going to have to going to move. Don't think it's going to attack the rook, but maybe it does. All right, so the king moves. So we can move up and attack the pawn and can defend it quite easily. Don't want to overstretch. Uh, he'll be looking to challenge this pawn, won't he? So if we push this pawn, so that then when he does, we can at least take it. And do we start pushing these pawns? But obviously we need to move the king out of the way. Because they will be challenged. Yeah, nice touch. Um, stops us from coming here. Let's push this pawn up. Let's 
And what's he hitting? Do, 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 do. So if we hit the pawn, if he takes, rook takes, king takes, takes the, this pawn here. Let's push here. Although that might be wrong. He may just bring the rook here. So we'd have to push this pawn just to support. So we're looking for the little tiny pressure points. Oh. So we could push onto the rook. Rook comes there. Or we could actually, we've got three pieces on here. So if we take with the rook. Oh, they've resigned. So I think they saw what we were just talking about. Quick look at the analysis just so that we know what we're talking about uh, with the pressure. Yeah, so it's saying take. Um, we were looking more at this one. Is there, is there anything wrong with doing it this way? Yeah, we were looking at doing that. Takes, takes, and then takes. Then they move. And then we've got these linked pawns going up. This is the whistle stop tour of the advanced um, tutorial. So as we know, the only slight difference is really the calculation side of things, which is like usually a maximum of four calculation. And we can go here, can't we? Because the bishop is protecting the pawn. Let's go with that. Keep it simple. So all other concepts are the same. It's just taking a little bit more time and looking at your calculation a little bit in more detail so you might not necessarily take a piece you might refrain from taking it you may go well you know let's let's miss that one and um adjust our position so we're supporting the pawn here because the bishop is about to take the knight can't take uh, yeah it's all a bit of a, yeah let's go this bit of a muchness there They've extended out, get the king here, no problems. Let's get the king in the game. Excellent. Right, let's get owning the file. Let's bring the rook up. Did he just push really fast then? Let's take that. Let's double up. Yeah, not bad, but his poor bishop looked like it might be struggling to get out. So I think it's probably going to come oh, here, at least. That's the safest spot, isn't it? To maybe come here. Oh, he's trapped me in. He's trapped me in. Let's see if we can hit it. If he blocks, then we can take it. If it goes there, then, oh, just said if we blocked it, can take it. Let's take it. Keep it simple. No pressure. Let's just bring the rook here, put in a 2 one one on the pawn. Um, shall we take double like this? Or I think double like this because we've got that situation because we've got our king here in the center of the board <laughs> scary times let's bring the king back out of the way and get it somewhere put a check on the king maybe we can farm some sort of up and up type situation okay let's block the open file See if we can squeeze here. We can do this type of stuff. So let's just go here. Bishop's got the square. And it's not it's not a sacrifice, is it? Because at the end of the day, it's just taking a palm. His own pawn is protecting. Let's just take it off the board then. Shall we take? Uh, or hide? I like the position of this bishop because it's got checkmate potential. 
I'm going to hide behind. And it's done.